commonly see is triangle pose, trikonasana. So let's make sure we have good proper alignment with our triangle. So for triangle pose, you're gonna, great place to start is kind of finding your warrior two. We've already been there, we've been comfortable. Then you're gonna straighten through your front leg uh, and you're firing through both quads, engaging them, lifting the kneecaps up, active through both feet to go into your triangle pose, unlike warrior two, where we're working to keep our hips level, we're going to drop our front hip and lift our back hip while we reach forward, creating length. Then you're just going to tick-tock your body. The key here is keeping both side bodies long. We don't want to be scrunching down into that bottom side. So one of the things I like to do to give myself that extra support is take a block to the inside of my foot. So hips tick-tock, we reach, 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 and then we tick-tock our upper body, keeping that length. So having that block allows me that extra support engaging through both quads, your gaze is maybe up at the top of your hand. From here, if you'd like to take it further and challenge your core, you can float your bottom hand. Eventually, maybe one day, maybe your hand can make it to your big toe or to the ground, but don't strain yourself. Really focus on that good alignment. So on the other side, I would just take my block over to the other side, take my hands to my hips or out long, and I'm gonna reach, 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 lift that back hip, drop that front hip, Core is engaged, quads are active, arms are reaching in opposite directions, and we have length on both sides of our bodies. You should feel an opening in that top side body. And you breathe here. Then you come back up, and that's your triangle pose. 